so apparently we have a profitable algorithm i question that entirely and i i doubt the reality of the situation hey my name is jason i'm from the chart guys and i've just spent the past two hours trying to comb my way through creating a trading indicator with chat gtp all right if you're watching this video chances are great you're a chart guys subscriber which means you're watching a lot of different types of trading content which no doubt also means you have been running into a lot of discussion about trading bots and chat GPT and trading algorithms. And frankly, it's everywhere. What I want to do in this video is explore the idea of using chat GTP to make trading algorithms. Is it even possible? Is it realistic? What can we do with it? And how can we utilize the tool to our advantage, if at all? Um, but before we do that, we need to take a look at what type of content is being published, what are people saying about it, and I'm going to go right to the source. We're going to go look on YouTube. And I haven't done this search for about 24 hours. I'm very excited to see what sort of content has been added. I'm going to bet there are some crazy faces, there are some uh, insane thumbnails, probably even more insane claims about what this program can do for you. But let's see what's out there. Let's mash the search button. And what do we got? All right, we've got some thumbnails right out of the gate. 88% win rate, that's impressive. 1,000%, pretty good. But that's 1,000 is nothing compared to a, a cool 17,000%, but I think we can do better than that. 20,000, a little bit better, okay? $273 every day. More realistic for something. Um, what else do we got? 850 a day, 9,000% again, 30,000%. Yeah, that's impressive. Okay. What's this 42,000? Come on guys. If you created a bot that can get you 42,000% returns, no one is gonna make a video about that. They're gonna keep it very, very quiet and tell nobody. So realistically, what can we do with this tool? We could probably leverage it in a way that allows us to create indicators. If you don't know how to code PineScript, you can probably, based on what I'm seeing here, get this chat to give you a little bit of something you can work with. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to ask the chatbot to give us some basic Pine instructions. We're going to try and see if we can convert that into a Pine script. Maybe, just maybe, we can turn it into a trading strategy and see what happens. So now, let's go to the bot. All right, we're going to run into one problem out of the gate. ChatGPT will provide us code for Pine script version 4. We're currently on PineScript version 5. So no matter what comes out of this, we're going to have some editing to do, and that's going to be your first major roadblock to using anything that the AI is able to give us. With that said, let's get started and try to make some basic scripts. All right, so the next step is to ask the AI for a script. So using the term script can be helpful, otherwise you might end up with a list of trading tips for our site pullback strategies. Um, but let's see what we get. Okay, so the bot has given us a relatively basic strategy, just what we asked for. We've defined our RSI as 14 periods with oversold being sub 30 and overbought being 70. And what we're looking for are periods where we cross over, so go above and back under 70 for a sell signal. And when we are below 30 and cross back above 30, it's going to be a buy signal. So let's see what we can do with this information. So what we're going to do is copy the code. We're going to go to our trading view. We're going to go to our Pine editor. We're going to open a brand new script. We're going to copy and replace the whole whack of things because we want to go through the real experience here. And the first thing that we're going to do is hit save. It's going to try and compile the script and it's going to spit out a whole whack of errors to us, for us, Pine script version not specified. Okay, so what are we compiling? We know that this is going to be a version four script but we need it to be version five because that's what we're dealing with. So if you notice that when I copy and pasted the entire thing here, I replaced this little code version five. That is what tells TradingView what type of script we're dealing with. So I'm gonna reincorporate that and I'm gonna hit save again. It's gonna try to compile, but it's not chill with the word study. So I'm gonna change that to indicator. And hopefully that is going to satisfy some requirements onto our next argument. We have to update this code to version five, essentially. So what I'm going to do is update this section with a snippet that's gonna replace those pieces. We're gonna have overbought conditions, oversold conditions, and RSI all defined. So just bringing things up to version five. 
Gonna hit save again, it's gonna go through this list and find our next issue. So we've got some identifier issues, colors, um, functions, what is a crossover? Here's a quick example. To bring this up to version five, I have to add TA crossover, it's a function. Now we gotta call it the right thing. We hit save, those should disappear. So what I'm gonna do now is just clean up the rest of the script really quick and we'll get back to it. So just change color to color green. Now we've got an issue with green again. So now it looks like it has worked for us. We have an indicator, uh, the basics here. Let's see if we can add it to our chart. So what we're gonna be trying to plot right now is gonna be our RSI, it's gonna be a blue line. And we're also going to be trying to plot shapes. We're gonna have a green and red circle on overbought and oversold conditions that say buy or sell. So let's add it to the chart and see what happens. Close our pine editor, and here we are. So we have a little bit of a janky situation. Now what you should notice is that the green and red dots are showing up around the 4,000 mark, which is right about where our price is. So because we are plotting on price, it's gonna be skewed. And what we wanna do is move this chart to be an overlay rather than be on the pane below. And now we've got some beautiful green and red dots right on our chart. Let's throw in our RSI for good measure so we know what's going on. So here we can see that anytime our RSI crosses below 30 and comes back, we use it as buy signal. Relatively basic. Overbought and we come back down, short signal. Does it always work? Absolutely not. But we did it. All right, so now we have our script. We got our overlays. What we want to do to turn this into an algorithm is convert it to a strategy. My hope was to ask ChatGPT to try and do that, but there are a lot of outages. So what we're going to do is just do it ourselves. So in order to do that conversion, what we have to do is rename this to a strategy. We have to add some conditions. I have pre-made those and it's going to paste them in here. And what I'm telling the strategy tester to do is if we reach a long condition, which is our buy signal, then we're going to go for a long entry. And if we reach our sell condition, which of course we've labeled as sell, uh, we're going to go short. All right, so once we hit save, we can go over to the strategy tester and we can see that we have, um, thanks to the million dollars in our account and a little bit of luck, we've managed to turn this very simple trading strategy into a profitable one. We made a cool $1,800 uh, and it only took 218 trades. So this was not the result I was expecting, but pretty cool experience nonetheless. We managed to take a, a very simple script an AI gave us update it to version five, shuffle it around a little bit, and come up with a pretty cool strategy tester. So I hope this was useful. I hope it shows you the limitations of what the AI is able to do, the fun you can have with it, and the skill base that you will require. Remember, this is a very simple strategy, and it is only gonna get more complex from here uh, as we dig into more variables and conditions and more complex systems for your indicators or for your strategies. Uh, certainly not something that I would be able to take and plug into uh, an algo to make 20,000% returns. Uh, I'm surprised with 0.18% returns on this. Um, and I just want to acknowledge, yes, I know there are no commissions. This is, uh, I don't think based in reality, <laughs> this return. Uh, but thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this, feel free to throw them in the comments. If you want to make some more algo videos, I will do those. This is a lot of fun. And until next time.